start, start with the flag. Uh, council members don't always agree on strategies. How will you handle opposing viewpoints of fellow council members and still represent the three Bedford Hamlets? I sit on the DBA right now. And if you've ever attended a DBA meeting, you'll tell, uh, I can tell you that the board members don't always agree on, on the application before them or the outcome that happens. And nor does the resident, the applicant, or the residents always agree on those positions. But I think it's the role of a government official to try to find some middle ground, to try to compromise where necessary to make their viewpoint known, to also make sure that they have all the facts about the position that they are articulating. Different residents may raise different issues or concerns based on their own personal experience, and sometimes that needs to be informed by other facts and other information that goes beyond their initial perspective. So while the town board, I don't expect them to agree unanimously on everything that comes before it, I think that that is what makes the government and makes politics that can be a better place if we all work to find a middle ground. I would make sure to always get everything that I would want or what a specific resident or maybe a Hamlet would want to work. But what I would hope is that looking at all three of the Hamlets that make up this town, that we would find a way to do what was right for all of the residents who we were looking to serve. And by doing that, I would take a hard uh, stance on one issue and never move from it because it's all a matter of facts and circumstances that may change in a particular uh, question at that particular moment in time based on the facts that surround that particular issue. Thank you. Uh, so, if council members don't always agree on strategies, um, I, you know, certainly we could engage in different strategies. Uh, I would say the first thing would be for everybody to put forth their opinion on a preferred strategy. Um, I, the other thing is to ask the residents, how do the residents expect us to be interacting? How do the residents um, want us to, um, to be gaining information? I would be in favor of, in, in practically any situation, of engaging stakeholders. Gathering facts before, before you come to a conclusion. I've seen on a number of occasions that uh, actions are, are taken almost on a foregone conclusion without, um, or, or launched into, without maybe the necessary gathering of facts. Uh, certainly seeking input from the residents um, would be important, but you know, the other thing is just engaging with one another. And having a civil conversation, um, you know, it, it's not easy to, to get along with with people, whether it's family, neighbors, sometimes, or or closely with people on, that you have to work with on the town board. But you know, civility and collegiality is a, a great first step. Um, you know, building consensus is a real skill, um, and it's something that is um, absolutely uh, critical when you're trying to represent the people of Bedford. I, it's not about getting, you know, agreeing with your fellow town board members. It's about representing the people, and um, it, it's about bringing the stakeholders to the room. A lot of times, people um, are coming at something with misconceptions. It's important to make sure that you have all the facts, all the research in front of you, and you know, really try to find some common ground. And um, at the end of the day, it's um, you know, we're all here to represent the people of Bedford. Yeah, it's true. We we don't always agree, but for the most part, at least in the time that I've been on the board, um, we have agreed on most of the time on most of the issues. And, and I think that's because we do a very good job as, as council members. Uh, to educate ourselves on the issues, to reach out to the community and to get input and feedback. Uh, there are a lot of strong personalities that are on the board, as you can imagine, and, and people have come and, and gone, but we always manage to do what's right for the community. Um, there is not always a clear consensus, but through constructive dialogue and collaborative efforts, we've always managed to take the town in whatever decision it may be, whatever hard decision it may be, to the place that we think at the end um, in the best interest of the citizens of the town. It's funny because you know you think you've come up with a great solution to a problem, and you tell both sides this is the solution, and they both end up hating it. So you know you, you, 
sometimes you can't win, but you always, as long as you know you're, you're, you're educated, you're, you're getting all the information, and in our case, at this county, we have incredible resources with our department heads and our employees, and we have people who don't hesitate to speak out on any issues that they feel strongly about, and it's our job to go back and to work in a collaborative manner to come up with